All right, so today I'm going to show you how to create a dispersion effect. And what that is, is when something appears to look like it's just falling apart. Um, so let's get started. All right, so um, this is going to be the end result. Now, I've already created this, um, so I'll just create another page here and I'm going to add uh, on this page, uh, I'm going to add a butterfly and I'm going to uh, add some um, grass. Okay, and um, I'm just going to uh, turn the butterfly around like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by um, create, grabbing some white um, shadows like these. Now, how do you find them? You can just search shadow and uh, they'll come up. It's pretty much this type, except um, when you're searching for these, make sure that you can change the color. So over here, that option isn't coming up. So that's not exactly what I'm looking for. Um, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, you basically just need to um, try to see um, uh, what you can change. And if, and if you can't find one that changes color, just try and find one that is the same as your background, like this white one, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of these other ones because I don't need them. So I'm just gonna delete them and I'm going to go back to this one and I'm just going to change it like that. Now, um, I'm just going to layer those here like so to create kind of a transparent uh, effect. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and try and find some splatter. And again, the splatter that I'm finding, so I'm just going to put that up there. I'm going to put that one there. I'm going to look for some more. Uh, that appears to be the same one, so I don't want that. But maybe I'll grab that. Okay. And what I want is to just make it the same color as uh, the butterfly. So the black is okay. Um, I can, I can use that. That's not a problem. So we'll start off with small pieces and we'll just place them sporadically like so. And, um, what we'll do is we'll just make a copy of that and then we'll change the color to, um, orange and you'll just m mix, blend those in like that. And um, as you can see, it's starting to look like uh, the butterfly is falling apart. Okay. Um, and you can blend in some white in there as well, uh, because that's the color of the uh, background. Okay, so that's pretty much um, how I created that uh, dispersion effect. And you just keep on layering until um, you get the consistency that uh, you're looking for. Um, and then I just added uh, a border and I pretty much did the same thing with the bottom here. So uh, before I, if I know I, I need to get rid of a large area, what I'll do is I'll just grab a square like this and I'll put it like that and I'll make that white uh, like that and um, maybe I'll create I'll create another one and I'll just hide uh, some of the stuff that's on this on uh, the side like that and then I'll just again I'll grab some um, shadows and I'll just layer them 
on top here. to give it kind of a fading uh, effect. And I'll just grab those. And now I'll make them green. And I'll just keep going until I get the consistency that I want. Like that. Um, and you know, you can test out what works uh, best. And then this was just a curvy shape that I found um, in here. So So it could have been this one that I used. Um, and then you can shade that the same color, um, or you can shade it, shade it another color, and you can um, create the same type of effect uh, using um, white splatter. Now, um, you'll probably need uh, splatter that's like a different type of splatter, but um, you can search uh, here for all kinds of different uh, splatter. Uh, here is here, and you'll want to make it, you'll want to alternate between white and um, green. And um, the other thing, um, um, you'll want to do is also use some um, shadow uh, some shadows to just smooth out that that harsh line for example if we look in here for uh, a shadow um, now we'll want a white shadow like that and um, see that kind of smooths it out a little bit so that's not so harsh and that's what you'll want to do you'll want to do that all around and you can layer um, the shadows um, as much as many times as you want to create that effect now again you're going to alternate between the green and um, no, that's too dark. Or sorry, that's too light. So um, yeah, so you just keep on going like this until you get the effect you want, and you'll you know twist them just to kind of um, get a variance of the splatter because you don't want it looking um, the same because then it's not gonna, it's gonna look too uniform, it's gonna look too fake, okay? And then uh, once you're satisfied with your design, you can um, put uh, a label on it, like I did over here, and uh, Bob's your uncle. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. Until next time, my friends, bye-bye.